The fear of the unknown often keeps us in situations that we know we shouldn't be in. We have become comfortable even in the most fucked up of situations because we don't want to take a leap of faith and walk away. Um, I'm going to use myself as an example. One of the many reasons I, I stayed with my first husband, even though I knew me and him weren't compatible for one another, was I had grown comfortable with the issues that we were having. Like, I would rather have dealt with the issues than possibly have put myself back into a dating world, back into being a single mother again. Um, and for a long time, I just kept it going. Like, I didn't even think really much about it. It was just like, well, I know he'll be home. Or I know that I could count on him to do X, Y, Z. The things that I could count on him to do wasn't worth the battle. Do you understand what I mean? Like, it wasn't worth my comfort. I should have made myself uncomfortable a long time before then and walked away. That's not what I did. And it caused me to go emotionally downhill. And I'm sure he as well suffered too because he probably felt like, for whatever reason, that he should have stayed too. But we both should have left each other alone, right? For me, it was the comfort of knowing that he was going to be there at XYZ time. Like, even during his fucked up periods, I could count on him to be a certain way fucked up. Like, I could count on him that if we got into an argument, I could count on him to not come home. And that was my comfort level. Why should, and when I, even when I'm speaking about it now, that's ridiculous, right? I should have never been comfortable with my husband not coming home because we got into an argument. And I'm not even saying that's a particular case. I'm just throwing that out there as an example. I should have been should have been comfortable with that. Nobody should be comfortable with that. And this actually expands past relationships. This even goes into our jobs. Like, a lot of times, we are comfortable with uh, being an employee. We know we're going to get a guaranteed paycheck. We know that we're gonna who we're gonna work with. We know what type of environment we're going to, and in the, the whole time we are neglecting ourselves. We are neglecting our true calling as far as a career because the job and the career are co completely two separate things, right? For me, again, I will use myself. One of my jobs, like it can be very stressful for me, um, for many different reasons. Okay. And, but I know I need a paycheck, right? Because I have a family I have to provide for. I have bills I have to pay. And right now, it's not for me to leave that job. Unless I get terminated. In that case, thank God I have a second job, right? Uh, it's not for me to leave that job. But when it's time, I never want to be comfortable enough where I'm stuck. You know what I mean? If I get somebody who calls me and says, you know what, we really want you to do a radio show or a podcast and we're going to pay you XYZ amount of money. Um, however, there are no guarantees for how long we'll, we'll keep you. We can keep you for six months. We can keep you for six weeks. I want to be in a position where I am no longer comfortable with my job. I want to take that leap of faith if that opportunity ever presents itself. And that's what it's about. It's about taking that leap of faith and saying, you know what? I would rather be uncomfortable with my future possibilities than comfortable with my fucked up present. Do you understand? Like, I want to say that. I want to say I'd rather be comfortable, uncomfortable on a journey of possible raising to the top instead of being comfortable in a situ present situation that's not going anywhere. Sometimes the fear of the unknown blocks our blessings too. So, I'll go again with myself. When me and my first husband got divorced, um, I, I did go to therapy. And I realized, like, I didn't love myself. So that gave me an opportunity to get to love myself all over again. It was a beautiful feeling. I, that, that only happened, guys, because I stepped out of my comfort zone and faced an un a, a unknown future. Okay? And I love myself a hundred times more now than I did then. All right, and keep in mind what I love thought I loved about myself was the size I was, the clothes I had, the shoes I had. I don't have half of those things that I had then, and I've gained weight, and I'm still very, very much more in love with myself than I was then. And that's something that we should always think about. Okay, like it's easy to go home to that to that guy or girl every night, 
and have them love on you in the way that you have adjusted yourself to. Because a lot of times it's not what we wanted, it's what we've accepted that's kept us in this comfortable position. That's also why I talk about loving yourself because loving yourself will help you also deal with the uncomfortable, I'm oh, sorry, with the unknowing future. Like when I'm talking about it, y'all getting goosebumps because I remember a time where I was so comfortable living in a fucked up situation that I didn't even want to look past the next day. Y'all, in my current situation, I'm looking to the next six months and it's beautiful for me. Never allow your current situation to be a destination. Bye.